Hey guys, Alex Khan here, and before I start, I just want to say this is not an official product or merchandise of the Art of Racing in the Rain movie. Uh, this is actually a product of Mini Champs. So the year of this car is a bit wrong, and so is the color, I already know that. But let's talk more about this uh, die cast itself by looking at the box. So yeah, as I said, this is a Mini Champs uh, die cast 118 scale. And this is a BMW 3.0 CSI 1972 model. And it's a very exquisite box. I like this uh, glossy exterior on the box. And on the on one side, it actually has a lot of the, the details, like the, uh, the technical specifications. And there's a history of the car in uh, German, which I can only read very uh, rudimentary amounts of uh, German, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, so... As I said, this is not the actual year, and this is not an actual product of the movie, but I tried to get some some kind of a BMW model that was similar to it. So what I ended up getting was, as I said, a 1972 BMW 3.0 CSI, and in the movie they had a 1973 model apparently, and the movie version, it was a, a slightly different color. Um, the color that I have is called a turquoise green. But the movie car was called Fjord Metallic, which is a, a very light color of blue. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't, they don't make that color for this model. If they did, I totally would have gotten that. But to be honest, I, I, I like this car enough that even having the wrong shade of color is okay in my book. And if you'll notice, uh, there is a little uh, golden retriever inside this car that did not come with this car. That was just a little extra touch I added. And uh, yeah, inside is actually a, a resin model that was hand painted because if you guys had seen the movie, The Art of Racing in the Rain, it stars a dog named, uh, named Enzo, like the Ferrari. So I wanted to pay tribute to that dog by putting a miniature inside this car. So this movie is, it, it's very a deep emotional movie. And it does star a dog, but it also stars this actor called uh, Milo Ferme. Oh gosh, hold on, let me see it. Milo. Let me read his name here. Oh yeah, Milo Fentamilia. And he plays uh, Denny in this movie, who is a race car driver. And he eventually uh, meets uh, Amanda Seyfried, Seyfried's character named uh, Eve, Eve in the movie. But before he meets her, uh, he picks up this dog on his way from work, and he starts off um, meeting Enzo as a puppy. But yeah, in this movie, uh, Denny's character, he drives about nine different cars, and most of those cars are race cars. He drives all kinds of race cars from BMW, uh, Acura, Nissan, and I believe there might, there might have been a Porsche involved in that mix. But uh, he ends up driving for uh, Team Ferrari, so he gets a he gets to drive a pretty sweet uh, Ferrari later on. It's actually a uh, a, a 488 Ferrari, which is very very sweet. And um, at the end of the movie, when uh, when Milo is coming to grips with Enzo, he actually uh, decides to take Enzo on a, a little ride in a race car. And that's what you see on the cover of like the posters and the DVDs is. These two driving in a, uh, what is it, a uh, 1958 uh, Ferrari Testarossa 250. And that car was a replica, but it's very beautiful. But that said, the car that gets the most screen time out of, well, out of, out of those uh, nine cars is the, the BMW 1973 3.0 CSI. I actually went back and timed it. Uh, this BMW gets 4 minutes and 51 seconds worth of screen time. So that's quite a bit of screen time in the movie. But yeah, if you like a like a like a, like a dog movie, trust me when I say this, this is not you know a light-hearted movie to watch. It's actually very deep and very emotional. You might shed a tear watching this movie because I went back and watched this movie last night so I can get refreshed with it and it, it kind of reminded me of another um, animal that I was close to. So I was getting kind of kind of teary about that, teary about that. 
But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy with this uh, die-cast model. It's, it's very hard to find. And even though it's not exactly like the one in the movie, I still love this. And I want to open it up for you guys. I'm going to have to take Enzo out, though, because he might fall out when I... Come here, Enzo. Shoot. I wish this engine hood would stay open a little bit better. Stay. All right, well... It's a very beautiful interior, but the interior does not match the, the car interior from the movie either. The interior of the movie car has a lot of, uh, it, it's all dark. I don't know if it's black or some kind of dark blue, but it's very dark. Whereas mine has, I don't know what that is, like almost a white or a grayish uh, leather interior. But uh, the dashboard looks pretty correct. It's got a four analog gauges to it. Got a nice little uh, clutch in there on the very on the very bottom. But yet the dashboard does look pretty accurate. I believe the steering wheel. I don't remember what the steering wheel looked like in the movie. I didn't pay attention to that. But the uh, the trunk is pretty cool. You never see the trunk open in the movie. And inside the uh, the engine compartment, you can see a straight six uh, a straight six engine system. And I don't know if the 1973 year changed its engine at all, but this one does have a straight six. So this is a very a very nice model. Even though I'm not really big into European cars, I could definitely appreciate this one. Like with BMWs, like I don't really like the looks of them, but this 1972 and even the 1973 version from the movie, oh man, I thought it was look pretty sweet. But yeah, I said this uh, this car gets about it's a little shy of five minutes of screen time in the movie, but it appears so many times. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It appears about in thirteen different scenes in the movie. Roughly. This is, uh, which I didn't say, this is uh, Denny's Daily Driver. And it's, it's just a beauty to behold because you see, you see it in like every other scene in the movie, basically. And obviously, you also see him uh, racing those uh, really sweet race cars, which honestly, I'm not a big fan of, to be honest, in terms of aesthetics. But I can appreciate the raw power of them. But uh, yeah, have you guys seen this movie? What do you think? And I will see you guys in the next life. That sounded scary.